What is up guys? In today's video, we are gonna be adding camber to the white Miata. And we're gonna be doing that with some extended lower control arms in the front. Today, I'm hoping just to get these lower control arms on and get everything set, get those centric bolts uh, set up for maximum camber. These are extended about an inch and a quarter, and that should get us around negative 10 degrees or so. Uh, and at some point, we're gonna get this thing in line and we'll be able to tell exactly what we're getting, but for right now, we're just trying to fit our heritage wheels. And then we're also gonna be building our upper rear control arms. We're gonna be cutting those and shortening those to get more camber in the rear to match the front. I just wanna get the front ones on now. That way, we know how much to replicate in the rear. We're gonna go ahead get this car in the air get the wheels off start pulling the lower control arms it's very simple overall it's basically just replacing it uh, the only thing is as once you're done it actually kicks out the bottom of the whole spindle and everything and gives you more camber also I wanted to talk about it for a second since this is giving me negative 10 uh, normally we would extend this portion here out and give us around negative 17 ish which is exactly how that thing is done um, however I didn't want to go that extreme I wanted to just barely be able to fit the wheels that we have which are not nearly as aggressive so we went with these ones um, this is a much more mild setup and should still be able to be daily -able. I wanted to get some before shots just so you could see that we have a few degrees of negative camber right now it's very difficult to see with the lighting but Basically, we have enough to be able to barely fit the wheels we have now, but we want to be tucking wheel, so we just need to go a little bit further with this setup. Just got done pulling out the passenger side control arm. You can see them side by side that essentially the only thing that is different is the square tubing in there that is welded up to lengthen this out. Uh, we also have our extended uh, tie rod in here and this is only extended a little bit just so that way uh, because the whole thing is being moved out the whole hub assembly that where the connecting point for this uh, gets moved out. So obviously you need to compensate for that. So I just got done throwing in the one control arm. We went ahead, threw on one of the Heritage wheels with the adapters, and right now, it's a good amount of camber. We already put it up in there, but we're gonna jack this thing up, see how the fitment is, just with jacking up the control arm, just so you guys can see how close this really is. And at this point, we're jacking up the car. If I were to maybe cut the inside of here, not the outside, and then try and maybe mount this so it pushes it out further somehow um, and roll and pull the fender a little bit more we're gonna be able to just barely be able to clear the lip of these wheels but it is really really close lower control arm is in we're gonna quickly uh, shorten these studs here that way we can put on our custom adapters and put on our other wheel We'll drop this thing see how the fitment looks and see how much more work we have to go Good yeah <laughs> Are you touching? Excuse me for a moment. Back on the stock wheels. We're gonna back this thing out. We're calling it a night. It's pretty late here and we're gonna get back to it tomorrow and we're gonna start cutting some stuff, start rolling and pulling and make these wheels fit. Whether they like it or not, these damn things are gonna be tucking wheel. Um, I don't know how much it's gonna take, but probably more than I anticipated. Scraping, I'm good. Even though we lengthened the front bottom, uh, the best way to do it in the rear is to shorten up the upper control arm. And uh, basically what we're gonna be doing is chopping this thing up. We're gonna shorten it by, I don't know, maybe about an inch. Um, we're gonna tack it up. 
Um, I don't have the exact measurements on how to get the negative 10 all the way around. Uh, so we're gonna have to experiment a little bit, but uh, basically we're just gonna cut this thing up, tack it up a little bit, put it in place, and uh, let the card down and make sure that we have it where we want it. And then we will fully weld this one up and then transfer it to the other side. Uh, basically all of this is super simple. It's just, you know, kind of a lot of work to pull the control arms um, and kind of weld them up and put them up in there. But really not that bad. It's just uh, pretty time consuming. So I have both control arms out. They're both cut up, welded up to the exact length that we need them to be. Uh, I just threw a quick layer of whatever paint I could find. Uh, I'd love to do some single stage black that I already have, but unfortunately, I kinda gotta get this thing running and driving right now, and uh, it's not the biggest deal if we don't get some solid paint on there, so we're just gonna uh, wait for those things to dry, throw them in here, and then we should be sitting with about 12 and a half degrees of camber all the way around. Even though in the front it's supposed to be around negative 10, I adjusted the camber bolts. I think that's where we got our extra two and a half degrees, um, but I went ahead and I adjusted the camber bolts, and basically the control arms are welded so that way um, when the camber bolts are in the same position, front and rear, they have about the same degrees of camber. Both sides are reassembled. We're gonna go ahead, drop this thing on the ground, see how it looks, and then that's probably gonna be just about it for this video. In another video, we're gonna be doing all of the fitment stuff, uh, trying to get the Heritage wheels mounted up and trying to get them fitted underneath the stock fender wells. We're gonna drop this thing down, see how it looks, and I'm pulling it out and calling it quits for today.